Hey everybody, appreciate you joining me again. Old T-Roy here, we're cooking inside today. Last week, Surf and Sapo, he made some pot stickers and he challenged the rest of us YouTube brethren to get out there and make some kind of a dumpling type dish, uh, Asian inspired dish. I decided to do some wonton soup. We're gonna start off by making the broth for it. Let me show you what we're gonna do. All right guys. One of my subs lives right up the road in Colleen, Texas. I mean like 30, 40 minutes from here, if that. Uh, anyway, he asked me to give him a shout out. So, Ed Hugh, there you go, buddy. Appreciate you watching, man. All right, guys, this should be pretty straightforward. Gonna need some chicken stock, got that, 32 ounces of it. Got a little bit of rice vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, salt and pepper to taste from my veggies. I've got some uh, ginger peeled, Got some green onions and I got some uh, peeled carrot. So we're gonna put in there flavored a little bit. So let's dump all this in. All right, first off, we're gonna use our chicken stock. That's 30, 32 ounces going in. All right, now we got some rice vinegar and I'm gonna use some of this also in the wonton. So I'm not gonna put a lot. We're, let's just go with, uh, let's go with one teaspoon. Soy sauce going in. Again, one teaspoon. A little sesame oil, one teaspoon. You need your salt, let's put some salt in there, it's fresh cracked salt. And salt and pepper is to taste, so we're gonna add some right now. This is uh, black pepper, fresh cracked black. Again, we're gonna let this come up to a little simmer here. Stir all that about. While that's coming up to heat, let's uh, let's do the veggies. All right, gang. Let's start with these carrots. Again, these are peeled carrots. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. Let's just start doing some of this. I like my carrots kind of chunky, so we're gonna do that. All right, now time for our green onions. Need three of them those paint brushes out of here. I'm just going to kind of even out these ends here. Get that junk out of here. Slice these in half. And here we're just going to slice these in long strips. All right, now it's time for some ginger. Let's get this ginger going here. And again, this is peeled. I'm just going to slice it into little coins here. Not a whole lot because we don't want to overpower the soup. That's probably enough right there. Said so about six pieces. Yeah, about six slices of ginger, and they're uh, they're itty bitty thin slices. Yep. Forgot something though. Towards the end, right at the very end, I've got this baby bok choy. We're gonna chop this up, and you know, half the leaves and chop it all up. And we're gonna put that in at the very end. All right, so my soup is coming up to a little boil there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all the carrots, green onion, and the uh, ginger. Give that a good stir. Give that a good stir and let all these flavors get happy. Let them get in concert together. When it comes up to a slight boil, we're gonna boil it for a few minutes, maybe three to five minutes low boil and then we're going to turn it off put a lid on it and we're just going to let that steep in the meantime let's go work on our wontons all right guys we back uh the soup base has just been uh steeping for about 10 minutes i did taste it and i did put a little too much ginger in there that's kind of overpowering it a little bit so i'm gonna throw a little bit of a chicken bouillon cube in there get it some more chicken flavor going in there and i'm gonna add just a touch more water to it uh I don't know, maybe uh, maybe half cup water. So we're gonna let that continue to steep and we'll taste it again here in a little bit. All right, gang, now we're gonna have two types of uh, meats. I've got shrimp here and I've got some ground pork. And the shrimp is just a medium count shrimp. I've got 10 of them in here. And uh, we're gonna start off with the shrimp. We don't wanna mix this all together real quick here. I don't wanna put the shrimp with the pork just yet. And I'm gonna finally, not finally, coarsely chop the shrimp up. 
We're going to marinate them for a little bit all on their own. And that way, you'll get a little bit of shrimp in, in your wonton, which I think will be grand. So we're going to put the shrimp back in this bowl right here. Okay, and wash my hands. Be right back. All right, so we got our shrimp here. I'm going to throw in a little bit of oyster sauce. Not a lot, just a few drops here. Maybe a teaspoon. Put a little bit of soy sauce in there. Not a whole lot again, just a little. About like so. A little bit of this rice vinegar. That's probably like a half teaspoon, if that. What else we got going in here? Oh yeah, for shrimp. You know how shrimp has that, uh, when, you, when you bite into it, when, when you're doing like an Asian dish and you get shrimp and it's got that real crunchy, crunchy taste to it, that bite, that's because you use baking soda in the marinade. Don't know what the reaction is, some kind of reaction it does, but uh, salt will help the shrimp retain its moisture and baking soda We'll give you that little crispy bite. Let's check it out. See if it works. I think it will. So, regular baking soda going in there, buddy. Not a lot. Maybe a teaspoon or so. See, not a lot. Just like so. Wanna put anything else in there? Um, a little salt, that's right, a little salt. Fresh cracked salt going in. Fresh cracked black going in. Okay, we're gonna mix this all about. We're gonna cover this, put it in the fridge about 15, 20 minutes or so. And we'll prepare the, the pork. Be right back. All right guys, we've got our shrimp going in the fridge. And I've got this broth just steeping over here. It's covered, but the flame is off. Looking pretty good, it smells fantastic. All right, let me show you what we're gonna do for the, uh, the pork real quick here. Got cornstarch, or as uh, as y'all have it over there in uh, the UK, I believe they call it corn corn flour, something like that. Uh, Dave, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, look, I'm gonna put uh, put a tablespoon in there. There we go, just like so. And I've got this broth here. We need some of this broth. We're gonna get two tablespoons of broth. Uh, let's make it three. Let's do three. That's a good bit of cornstarch. Okay, we're gonna stir this up with a fork. Get us a little, uh, we're gonna mix this up, guys. All right, so there, got me a little slurry going there. Just uh, the, the soup base and that uh, corn cornstarch. Just do it like that. Gonna throw in, this is one pound of ground pork going in. Get that diaper off there, T-Roy. Get that junk out of here. Ain't that, ain't that right, Amushan? Okay, we're gonna bust this up a little bit. Okay, now what else we're gonna put in there? Let's see. All right, we've got some ginger. This is uh, probably like, uh, I don't know, tablespoon ginger and a couple of tablespoons of green onions, diced real fine, going in. All right, we're going in one tablespoon of soy sauce. All right, one tablespoon of rice, rice vinegar going in. Just like that. All right, one teaspoon sesame oil. Get the good stuff, folks, get the good stuff. Come on, come on. One teaspoon. There we go. All right, now, calls for a little bit of sugar, a pinch, that's what it says, so there's a there's a pinch. How about that? And of course you need some salt and pepper. Again, to taste. There's some pepper going in. Fresh cracked black for you, Keith. Now stir this up with the fork. Alright gang, after a couple of minutes, that's what you got. 
it tightens up really good on you. It smells terrific. Like, man, it smells good. Now, you can't really tell what it tastes like till it's cooked. So, just like if you were making sausage, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little bit, like, like about that much right there, make a little patty, put it in the microwave, or grill it on the stove real quick, just to give it a little taste. See if we need anything. So, we'll do that. Alright guys, as you can see, we're pan frying this puppy. It's looking pretty good. It's almost ready. We're going to be tasting it very shortly. Alright gang, let's check this out. Let's see what it tastes like. It's good stuff. Good stuff right here, man. It smells wonderful. Mmm. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. 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 That's a big time thumbs up. Man. Those flavors are rocking together in that pork. All right, so we're gonna put this pork covered in the fridge for about another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll meet y'all back to put everything together. All right, my meat has marinated long enough. There's my shrimp, looking good. There's my pork, looking fine as it's also. I'm just gonna put this shrimp in with this pork. Give this a good mix real quick. All right, folks, lay out some wonton wrappers like this, and uh, you can, if you don't take a long time, go ahead and put a damp cloth over these so they don't dry off. What you want to do is get you not a whole lot, but uh, maybe a teaspoon of filling. Maybe not quite that much. Just dump you a little bit in each one of these. Okay, let's try to wrap these up here. Oh yeah, need a little water. A regular water here. I'm gonna go around this filling right here. Right there. Squeeze all the air out, starting on the middle. Working your way out. Just like so. Okay. So that's what you got right there. A little bit of uh, stuff there. Wrap that puppy around just like that. Now, there you go. That's what you got. Look pretty, huh? Sit that over there for now. Let's do another one. I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. Let's roll this one this way. Okay. Instead of going at the diagonal, we're going from, you know, straight across end to end. And again, get you some water. Okay. Pop that together like that. Here's another way to do it. So however you want to do it, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up. We'll be back when we put them in some water. All right, guys, here's my soup, the base of it. And I did just now, like within the last couple of minutes, put some baby bok choy in. As you can see, there's, I just took like four of those stems and the leaves and halved them, uh, quartered them actually, lengthwise and then in half. Put those in here, let them kind of soften up just a little bit. And I've got this on just a simmer on low. And I got some water boiling on this other side over here, you can see. That's where we're going to put our uh, dumplings, our, uh, our wontons. Alright, so one at a time, let's put our wontons in this boiling water. And what you want to do is just let them boil. It'll probably be uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. But when they start floating, that's when you know that they're ready to come out. Alright guys, I just shut off all the burners here. These dumplings are floating. What you want to do is take some of these dumplings and put them into a bowl. Just like so. And I'm a big boy. I'm going to go ahead and get me quite a few dumplings. I last my dumplings. So, see, fill your bowl up like that. And then you come over here and get you some of this soup. Need me a scooper upper. Here's me a scooper upper right there. Okay. I 
I know this is hot. This is very hot. Just pour you some soup over these dumplings here. Over these wontons. Get some more of that. Just like so. Okay. Now what you do is, uh, we're going to take the rest of them dumplings out of there, the wontons, but check it out. Here, let me fix this for you. Hey guys, I thought we'd chop one of these open right here. Back off just a little bit for you. There we go. Here's one of these wontons. Let's cut that baby open. Let's see what we got. Check that out. See that shrimp in there? There you go. Look good, right? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's good eating right there, y'all. Really hope y'all give this a try. All right, gang, so you get you some green onions chopped up. A few of them on there like so. There you go, that's your dish. All right, guys, check this out, man. Hey, let me show you real quick here. Check that out. See these dumplings in here. Oh, baby. Some dumplings. A little bit of that baby bok choy. The carrots are done. Green onions in there. Look at that. Check it out, man. It smells wonderful. It smells excellent. Now, let's taste some of this broth. Mmm, that is excellent right there. Get some carrot. Some carrot. Carrots are good, they still got a little slight crunch. Now, the dumplings. Check this out, man. Shrimp and pork. Uh, I keep calling them dumplings. They're wontons. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. <clears throat> my gosh. A little pepper got me. Oh, this is excellent. This is so wonderful. It's really good. I'll let Karen try it too. How do you think it tastes, babe? I thought it was delicious. That thumbs up. Wife likes it. I like it. I think y'all like it too. Hope y'all give this a try. Appreciate you joining me. We'll see y'all next time. Cheers, everybody.